We well, spent a lot of time in this campaign examining the issues in the race for the U.S. Senate. Voters have a distinct choice between Republican Tommy Thompson and Democrat Tammy Baldwin. The issues matter, of course, but voters also want to know a personal side. I spent a day on the campaign trail recently with each of the candidates. And over the next two nights, we'll share those conversations. We begin tonight with Tommy Thompson. We caught up with Tommy Thompson on National Manufacturing Day. He spent the morning at Reed Switch Developments Corporation in Racine, a small company of 16 employees celebrating a big expansion. It was a friendly crowd for the former governor, who at 71 is making another run for national office. And a lot of your supporters thought you'd probably be the last person that would ever suggest changes to Medicare. Why are you doing that? Because it's going broke. It's going to be bankrupt unless it's fixed. I want to make sure that people in my age group are always going to have Medicare. And if we don't do anything, it's going to go bankrupt and nobody's going to have it. But how can you do that and still reassure people that that parachute will be there? Because if I don't do it, if we don't fix it, nobody will have Medicare. That would be a disaster for our country. I want to make sure that seniors like me are always going to be protected. You are probably more accomplished than most of the public servants of your generation. So why are you doing this? Because the country's in trouble, Susan. And because uh, I'm very worried about the direction our country's going. Uh, I have three children and eight grandchildren, your children and grandchildren. We've always promised them a country stronger, freer, fairer, safer, with more options we had. For the first time, we can no longer say that. That's the reason I'm running, for those people. A lot of attention has been paid to Thompson's career outside of politics. Shortly after leaving the Bush cabinet, he became a partner at a Washington, D.C. law and lobbying firm, consulting for health care clients. Are you still that guy from Elroy? <laughs> How do you convince the voters that you are not the guy in Tammy's ads? First off, I've never been a lobbyist. Never. Either at the state or the federal level. I came back after I left uh, Washington to run a company in La Crosse, Wisconsin. I was president of the company, then I was chairman of the company, and in seven years we went from 125 employees, which I was, uh, to over 900. We created over 700 jobs in the state of Wisconsin, La Crosse area. I still manage and still have a house on the family farm. So and that's in Elroy, Wisconsin. So I ran a, a business in uh, La Crosse and managed the family farm in Elroy, Wisconsin. I don't know how much more Wisconsin I could become. But in your soul, that is still who you are. You're still <laughs> that guy from Elroy. You know something? People don't know this, but every weekend, Sue Ann never left uh, you know, when I was secretary, she stayed here and built the Women's Health Foundation. And so people that go to Washington say, well, Tommy Thompson went to Washington. Yeah, I went there during the week to run, my, run the department, but I always came home on weekends, and I always voted in Wisconsin. The rigors of a national campaign have not seemed to slow down Tommy Thompson, and even his opponents are impressed with his stamina. I'm physically fit and mentally alert. I, I still speak uh, from, the, from the heart with passion and uh, without notes. And for the people who say Tommy Thompson did a good job and he had a good run, but it's time to pass the torch, you say? I love cheering for Wisconsin. And uh, Wisconsin is a place where eagles soar and Packers score <laughs> and Harleys roar. And I, I coined that and that's, that is exactly how I feel. Tomorrow on Live at 5, we'll share our conversation with Thompson's Democratic challenger, Congresswoman Tammy Baldwin. Just six days to go. Hard to believe. Yep. It's been a long road. Yep. 